Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Sunday. We made it. It's good to see you. My name is Pastor Pedro. I am the kids pastor here at Faith St. Thomas. Welcome to FST Kids. We're glad to see you. Kids, if you're here, uh, I hope you have your church socks on because I'm going to ask you, do you have your church socks on? You do? Oh man, let me see. Oh, I love those. Oh, wow. Sunshines? Man, I can't wait for sunshine. I love those socks. Good job. I have my church socks on today. Um, want to see? Okay. I got, let's see. I got it slouch down a bit. So I can put, there we go. I got my game socks on. I got cool gamey ones, little game controllers, that kind of stuff. That's pretty cool. I also have, let's see. Oh, my Nintendo socks. Other game controllers, but these are classic ones. These are the controllers that I used when I was a kid. A long, long time ago in a place far, far away. <laughs> We're glad you're here. We want to use this as a kickoff uh, for Sunday. And you can receive this. Hopefully, you're seeing this on YouTube and our Facebook group. Um, if you're joining a live um, in person, you'll get a version of this as well on Sunday morning. But we're going to use this as a launch pad for the week to get through our curriculum because we want to make sure that we don't just do it on Sundays. We do it all week. So parents, check the Facebook group for resources in there that you can use all week. Um, we're in a series called Way Out West, and we're learning about the, um, the let's see, the story of Moses. And last week, we did the birth of Moses. Remember? Um, he was born, his mom put him in a little basket, and he went to Pharaoh's daughter. Pharaoh's daughter raised him as his own. And so we, <clears throat> we learned that God had a plan for Moses' life. This week, we are learning about the burning bush. Oh, man, everyone heard that story? The burning bush? Yeah, Moses saw a bush. And it was on fire, but, like, the bush wasn't burning, but, like, it was on fire. It's so strange. Anyway, we're going to learn today about Moses and the burning bush and that um, God, uh, we can trust God with our life. So we want to make sure that we have the Bible story today. We have a fun video uh, for you to watch. Plus, um, we have our new memory verse, which it's in the group. I have it right here. See? Da -da 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 -da. We're learning memory verse. So jump on in, watch the videos, and I'll be right back. Wild West Animal Race. Who will win? Will it be the turkey? Will it be the bull? Or... Will it be the horse? For me. Well, I come from Alabama with a guitar on my knee. You know, trusting God with your life, it ain't always easy. No, sir. But it sure is important to do. If you recollect, I told you about this old boy named Moses, starting out when he was just a little feller, and how God cared about everything that had ever happened to him. You know, that didn't change for Moses when he got older. Not a chance. Later on in his life, Moses spent his days taking care of his father-in-law's sheep. Seems pretty ordinary if you ask me, but that was all about to change. Cause one day, while Moses was with all of his sheep, he went up on the side of this mountain. And sure enough, as he was walking, he stumbled upon this bush that was on fire. Wouldn't you know it though, the bush didn't burn up. As he moseyed on over to get a closer look, God spoke to Moses from that bush. He couldn't believe his ears, but he was listening for sure. God told Moses that he knew about the trouble his people, the Israelites, were having and that he had heard their cries for help. God then said that he would save his people by taking them from Egypt and leading them to a good land where they would be free from all of their troubles. But there was just one thing. God told Moses that he wanted him to go to the Pharaoh and ask him to free all the Israelites from being slaves and let them leave Egypt. Well, Moses wasn't ready to hear that sort of talk. He had doubts. I reckon he worried that Pharaoh wouldn't even listen to him. 
Or even if he did, would the Israelites want to follow him in the first place? So wouldn't you believe it, Moses still protested. And even though God promised to use all of his great power against Pharaoh, Moses was still saying things like he wasn't good at speaking on account that he stuttered a bit, and maybe God should just go and get somebody else to do it. Well, God decided to give Moses some help, and he gave him his very own brother, Aaron. Well, Moses called Aaron up to speed on everything, all that had happened and all that God wanted him to do, and the two proceeded to round up all the Israelite leaders, and they explained exactly what God's plan was for his people. They all trusted that God cared about what was going on, and then they bowed down and worshiped him. That was the start of getting those Israelites out of slavery. And even though it didn't make sense to Moses why God would choose somebody like him to save the Israelites, well, Moses learned that he could trust God with his life. And when you know that you can trust God with your life, well, that's a mighty fine way to live. I can trust God with my life. For today's Rootin' Tootin' Review, we'll pan for gold to see if we can remember something we learned today. After hearing today's question, we'll start panning. When you see gold letters, call them out. See if you can guess the answer before they all unscramble. In today's Bible story, who trusted God to use them to save the Israelites? Moses and Aaron. God gave Moses a helper, his brother Aaron. Together, they trusted God and saw that God had a great plan and purpose for their lives. Well, what's the thing of the videos? Good, right? Um, there's a song in my head. I can't get it out. This series called Way Out West, there's a song that the group created, and I'll, I'll try and put it in the uh, Facebook group, but it goes, we're heading out to West. That, that one I can't get out of my head, um, and it's super fun. We've done it in camp. If you've ever been to Forest Cliff Camp, We've done it at Fourth Cliff Day Camp before, but I'll try and remember to put the link into the group because um, it's hilarious. Uh, it might already be there because I may, I'm pre-recording this now, so I may just jump drop it in while I remember. <laughs> um, did you guys download your memory verse sheet or do you have it colored and put on your fridge? If you do, uh, go grab it or um, you can download it from the, the Facebook group. You can pause right now and go to the Facebook group and download it real quick. We're going to go through it. But I'm going to put it up on the screen. You ready? Here it goes. Yeah. There it is. We're going to do the memory verse together. And it goes like this. It says, we know that God is always at work for the good of everyone who loves him. They're the ones God has chosen for his purpose. And it's found in Romans 8, verse 28. And we're learning about the life of Moses because Moses was chosen by God. And every step of the way, God was protecting Moses. God had a plan for Moses, and we're seeing that Moses, then when he got older, started to trust God. And that's our need to know point for today. We can, I can trust God with my life. <clears throat> I hope you'll join us in person as we open up. And uh, if you're watching this, um, COVID has prevented us from opening up fully for the last, I guess you would say, couple years, which is kind of crazy. Um, but we've been having in-person kids church, and I hope you can join us. If you can't join us or you're just checking us out, no problem. We'll have these videos once a week up on our YouTube site. If you look in the comment, or not the comments, the description, you'll see a link to our Facebook parent group. In the parent group, you're going to find more resources. Um, coming soon in the next couple weeks, I'm going to have more resources for parents that you can continue discipleship. Because we only have on Sundays, we only have about an hour at Kids Church. And maybe you're watching this video, so we only have maybe 10, 12 minutes. But we want to make sure that we use that time effectively and continue to disciple our children throughout the whole entire week. Because Sunday is only one day. We have six other days that we want to make sure that we show the love of Jesus to everyone. And we understand that God loves us so we can love others. So I'm glad you're here. If you need any information, if you have any questions, you can always contact me. If you're on the Facebook group, send me a message through there. You can find me on Facebook. You can always email me, pedro at faithsaintthomas.com. But we love to stay connected. Kids, if you've done your memory verse, show, send me a message. I'd love to see them. We'll get some sour keys for you. But we are done our kids' church for today. And when we're done, we always pray. So we put our hands to the side like this. Everyone do it. You do it too. Ready? Put your hands to your side. We're going to spell the word pray. It goes like this. P-R-A-Y. We bow our heads and we close our eyes. God, thanks so much for this day. Thank you that we can trust you with our life. And as we saw Moses trusting you 
uh, in the story of the burning bush, God, we can trust you every day for everything that we need. I pray a special blessing on the moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas, aunts, uncles, cousins, brothers, sisters, and friends, everybody here represented and everyone in our church and our community. God, help us share the message of your love to others and help us trust you this week. And help us have an amazing week um, at school, at work, whatever we do. In Jesus' name, amen. Awesome. So don't forget, love God and love others. And I'll see you guys later.